welcome back to my channel, The You in Fashion. My name's Megan. On my channel, we discuss fashion, luxury, handbags, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those topics, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notifications bell down below so you don't miss any of my content. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the Chanel 22K release collection and I really wanted to discuss this with you guys in a shorter video. I did a Chanel release video I don't know, maybe a couple of releases ago at this point because you know they have multiple a year. And in that one, I kind of talked about all of the handbags that they released and I really just wanted to do more of a shorter video today in the sense that we are only going to be kind of talking about the ones that in my opinion, and of course, this is just my opinion, are the ones that will either do well or be very popular. So I'm gonna try to t keep it to the top five. You guys know I'm a talker and you know that I probably am going to have some more to kind of discuss at the end outside of the five that I choose, but I'm going to try to limit it and keep it shorter than average. Okay, now also with that being said, make sure you check out my last video that I did that talked about choosing handbags or certain handbags from Chanel specifically that seem to do really well on the resale market and can therefore get you a profit. So I wanted to keep those into consideration here also within this collection. And I'm really curious to get you guys' opinion too on what you guys think will be popular, what you think is going to maybe hold its value well, especially if you plan on reselling it later. And let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you guys are into different materials, so you are into velvet, you are into corduroy, you are into shirling, this is your collection. Also, tweed is everywhere within this collection. So the first handbag that I wanted to pick out, starting with just like the classic handbag, is going to be the tweed. Now, what I was really curious to see is they didn't have many in the classic handbag, whether it was the small or the medium size, in multiple leather colors. Most of them are in what they call their other materials. And in this particular case is the tweed. Now, the ones that I really liked and I thought were really cute, especially if you are a tweed person, is this bright pink tweed. I think that it is absolutely gorgeous. And also the blue, and it looks like it even has like little purple specks in there that I thought was really, really, really cute. I loved it for the kind of fall wintery season that they have it out for. And I'm really thinking that those colors, maybe even particularly the blue with the little purple specks, may be popular and hold its value pretty well. You guys let me know what you think about that. But those were my top two picks from the classic handbag that I think may do well and that I think are going to be pretty popular for the season. The next thing I wanted to point out was color. We talked about in the last video that color I feel like is very, very important and that colors that they don't release very often do very, very well with the brand. So it looks like within this collection, they have this dark gray color that I think is actually really, really, really pretty. And we know that grays have been very popular if you're looking on the pre-loved market it, especially with Chanel and that light gray color that they released. So I think that this may do well. Now with that being said, I was surprised that they didn't make it in the small or medium size. They only currently have it on the website from what I saw. It's in this small boy Chanel messenger bag, which I believe is new as a release for the bag in general. And I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. The boy bag I feel like has gone through its challenges in the past year of staying popular. So I feel like this is a way for them to try to reintroduce the boy bag in another light and I think it was smart for them to do it in this kind of dark gray color. They also look like they have shirling as a popular material for this bag. So again, if you like shirling, I feel like this is a good collection to try. And then they also released it, it looks like, in the classic jumbo size. Again, the jumbo is another one that's maybe not so popular currently within the brand. So I was really curious to see why they introduced the dark gray within these two instead of one of like the small or the medium size classic handbags that are more popular for the brand. Really excited to get you guys opinion on that too. Now the next one I wanted to talk about was the Chanel 19 in the corduroy light green. And I thought corduroy was a very interesting choice. I don't know for me personally that I can make the move on a corduroy bag. All I can picture with corduroy is these 
corduroy overalls from when we were younger. And if you were born in the 90s, you know you had some corduroy overalls, but it reminds me of like that time in my life. And I don't know that I'm ready to come over into a luxury feel for corduroy. I don't know. Again, like that's why I really like this collection. And that's why I really wanted to make this video for you guys is because I am really, really curious on where the fashion industry is going and whether we think corduroy, especially within a brand like Chanel is going to do well. I'm not sure, but this one is one that I thought I haven't seen before. It's a very interesting combination of materials for Chanel, and I'm really curious to see how it's gonna do moving forward. The next ones I wanna to touch on are gonna be your flat bags with the top handles. So I actually really, really like this one. This is a small flat bag with a top handle in the tweed, and I love the accru and black and colors of this one. I think it's really, really cute. If I was ready to move on a tweed bag, it would probably be this one, and I love a good top handle bag. Another top handle bag that I thought was really cute was their mini flat bag. And this one is in the blue color, kind of similar to how I talked to you guys earlier about the dark grays. These blues and the darker blues seem to be really popular within this current release as well. And I love that they have kind of the metal on the top with Chanel written across with that blue. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So if you are looking to get on the train of the flat bags with the top handles, I think both of these are good choices. Last but not least for me, so number five is going to be the mini flat bags. And as you guys know, if you looked at my last video, the rectangular minis are actually one of the handbags from the brand that does really well on the pre-loved market. And I think that these two that they introduce in the rectangular mini are really, really, really cute. Now, number one handbag, to be honest, from this collection is the satin gold blue. This satin blue to me is so beautiful. I can just picture it on a night out with a nice dress and your satin mini rectangular in this beautiful blue color. Oh my gosh. I think this handbag is so pretty. If you're looking for a night out bag, I really, really, really like this bag. Now, also they made the mini flat bag in this dark pink and fuchsia color, which again, I really, really like. I feel like it gives me very clueless vibes, which it looks like we are there, you guys. If you are looking at fashion or what people are currently picking out, it is the matching skirt and crop jacket tweed sets. And I feel like this bag would go perfectly with a skirt cropped jacket tweed set in this tweed bag. I mean, we'll just be like, I love it. I think it's so cute. Now, I know that I did my five already. So these are just like a little bit of added extras. Like I said, you guys know I love to talk and you know <laughs> that I love things that I'm passionate about and handbags are clearly one of them. So things that I wanted to point out that maybe are not so much handbags, but I felt like were really cute and a great idea if you're looking for something to purchase from this season. They came out with this like satchel style, which if I had a job where I needed and carried important documents, I would definitely grab one of these satchel messenger bags. This one comes in the navy blue that we discussed earlier from the brand and I just really, really, really like it. I think that if you do a job where you are looking for a messenger bag, this one is like spot on for professional messenger bag with so much style in addition to it. And they also did it in like this patent leather backpack style that's similar to that satchel. And that one is in the black. Backpacks for me are difficult because I feel like I already look kind of on the young side sometimes. So when I feel like I put on a backpack, I feel like it just makes me look even younger. So I know that backpacks are still very on trend, which is why I wanted to talk to you about it in this video. And I think that if you are a backpack person and you are a patent leather person, this one is going to be really popular. Going alongside with backpacks, I know that Chanel doesn't release backpacks every single collection. So I felt like it was important for us to discuss what backpacks they had. And the other one that I saw that I thought was cute, very tweed, very 90s, early 2000s fashion 
is the wool tweed backpack here and I think that this is really cute to be honest if I was looking for like a tweed backpack from Chanel this one I feel like would be a great choice I know that they don't release backpacks very often as I said and especially maybe in the tweed pattern so if you are looking for a backpack I feel like these are two really great options from a brand that is timeless rounding it up with this small flat bag in the lambskin beige is the color they call this but it reminds me very much of the caramels that were very popular so I wanted to show you guys this one just in case you guys felt like you missed out on that caramel or wanted something maybe a little close to that color also it may be a precursor we've heard that maybe they're coming back with the caramels next year so I just wanted to pop this one in there just in case you guys were looking for maybe a brown from the brand that was close to that popular caramel color released. That is all of my video today. I hope I made it short and sweet so that we could take a look at some of this collection together and some of the things that I felt like would be great options or what I think may be popular from this current collection. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!